So hey there guys, it's Philly here from Fidelity Factory. Find me on Twitter at PowerPhil1. Today I'm just going to go through a little action in Power Automate called Scope that you can use to tidy up your flows. So when working with a flow or a Power Automate, it can get quite long and winding of a lot of different stuff. Uh, I usually have some initializing variables, setting some variables, getting something from a data source, running some actions. And it can be, it's fine there and then, but two months later when I look back in, I I can't remember where everything is and I have to open everything up and figure everything out. And what we're going to look at today is a, and a little feature called scope, which will help um, tidy everything up. So, just going to put this in here, it's just called scope. And all it is, is somewhere where you can neatly package let's say everything up a whole bunch of items in here so where we can set our variable so i'm going to write rename that as uh, setting variables so that when i look back in in a few months time i know all my variables have been set there let's add another one just to grab all our sharepoint items and this way it keeps our flows looking much more manageable for upkeep when we need to maintain them. Um, getting items from SharePoint. And it's it's a nice way of managing everything. So let me just add in one last one and then I'm gonna add one extra point here. So scope and I'm just gonna put in my two email actions down here, rename emails. So when I look back in in a few months time, I'll know exactly what's going on here. I know I set my variables and I know where to look. Now I'll leave my initialized variable out because uh, initializing variables just have to happen at the highest level. They can't be packaged in here. But one other video I did recently, which was to do with the run after, and you can implement that in here. So I could maybe get, well, we only get share items from SharePoint. We could maybe apply that logic only if we let's say a previous item has failed so you can it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this scenario but you could implement let's say send out an error email only if this thing has failed so it's a nice way of packaging everything up together anyway that's just scope very useful tool keeps things manageable very simple but it's something that i didn't know about till till way too late so hopefully that helps and if it does let me know on Twitter at PowerPhil1 and I'll see you next time.